What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Jokey Joss 84 and today we're going to continue talking about Black Ops 3. So uh, before we get into more details, I want to talk about the gameplay in the background. Now this gameplay in the background was actually recorded back in 2012, so it has been a very long time since I last shown this gameplay. So this gameplay is about me going up against 6 people at the same time. And this was actually in a multiplayer match, an actual multiplayer match. The thing what happened is that uh, my teammates, all of them lagged out. So I was left alone against six people and nobody left. So I was there going one versus six. It's an interesting gameplay, guys. Just go back into my oldest video. You should find the original one. And um, this is, you know, this, the full gameplay should be there. So if you guys want to see more of my classic gameplays being shown here again, make sure you leave a like in the video and I'll show you guys more classics. So anyways, moving on to our main topic, which is about the SBMM being on Call of Duty Black Ops 3 it has been confirmed by several Call of Duty pros out there, several YouTubers who talk about Call of Duty most of the time, that uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 will have SBMM. So what does SBMM mean? Because I know most of you guys don't even search this stuff. So if you guys want to search it, make sure you just search it up in you know, YouTube and, and Google because a lot of people already talked about this a long time ago. So the SBMM has already been installed in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and also in Black Ops 2. So we have already played this before. You know, we've already been playing this for the past two years with the SBMM. So if you have like a high KD, like a 1.8, for example, the game Call of Duty, you know, Advanced Warfare will match you with only people that have 1.8. So the big problem about this is that if nobody else has 1.8 KD, the search will last longer. So you'll be sitting there like for a whole minute trying to see if anybody else has 1.8. And if nobody near you has 1.8, like in the state of Texas or something like, for example, you live in Texas, nobody else has 1.8 KD, it goes further down into the states, goes into Oklahoma, nobody else has it. Okay, let me search this other state. Oh, I found a player. They get that player, bring it into your lobby, and then we got to find the other freaking seven. So the freaking search times are going to be lasting longer. That's, that is a problem that you're going to have if you have a high KD. Another thing you can have a problem with a high KD is that once you get into the game, if they find all 1.8 KD players, when you're playing the game, it's going to be laggy as hell because all these players are sparsed out. They're like not even close to each other or not even living in the same state as you. So the game will be laggy as hell, which is something that I encounter several times in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare because I have, a, have a, like a 1.6 KD. So... Yeah, I already experienced it several times with the SBMM and also in Black Ops 2. It's like fucking terrible since I have like a 1.86 KD in Black Ops 2. So um, the another thing that you got to worry about if you have a low KD, if you have a low KD, the players that you got to worry about will be everyone. Because if you ha guys have noticed, um, any of the Call of Duty YouTubers out there that have like super badass gameplays, like they're going 80 and 0 or 70 and 0 or 60 plus kills, most of these players... I want you guys to check their background, check their Call of Duty League account status because most of these players that have badass gameplays on Call of Duty and show it off in YouTube, they have low KDs because they reverse boost. They don't they're not real. These people just set you up into something they make you they want you to believe. They're not good players because they reverse boost. They kill themselves several times in order for themselves to play against cheap players, and that's how they get they, they get their gameplays. That's cheap, man. And I'll talk about it in a separate video. Hopefully, I call out some people out. So, that is it, guys. That is information about the SBMM. It will be on Black Ops 3. And it is something to worry about because you never know when you're just going to sit there for hours searching for somebody who has like a 1.2 KD. 